Hey YouTube, it's UberX, and today instead of talking about the gameplay, um, I'm going to be talking about some uh, some games coming up this year and the game of the year 2011, uh, my predictions and what I want to win, uh, my personal opinions on it, and I'm going to be focusing on games for PC, not PC exclusive, but also multi-platform games. Um, I, I have a PS3, but I'm a PC gamer, so I'm going to focus on that. And in case you're wondering, the background footage is Bad Company 2 Vietnam uh, for the PC some footage on that so uh, let's get started 2011 is a really big year in gaming there are a lot of big year games coming up um, just now playing bad company 2 uh, there's battlefield 3 coming out this year uh, a sequel to battlefield 2 not bad company 2 uh, battlefield 2 is a 2005 PC exclusive game um, and that that was amazing and uh, I'm really looking forward to battlefield 3 um, now I know it's going to be a great game, and it's probably uh, it looks like the best Battlefield game to date. And uh, I don't I don't believe that it's going to win the majority of Game of the Year awards. Um, and then I'll get to that in just a moment. I'll just cover the games really quick. Battlefield Three is a team-based first-person shooter uh, set in modern era, and it has a lot of ve or it has a heavy emphasis on vehicles and team play and large maps. In, uh, vehicles including tanks, uh, jeeps, and jets, and stuff like that. Another game coming out this year is The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, a sequel to The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, set a couple hundred years later uh, in a, uh, I think an adjacent region known as Skyrim, which is snow-capped and has a lot of dragons. And uh, I loved Oblivion. I played it for only a week about on my Xbox 360 before I got a PS3, which replaced it, but I loved it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And it's a role-playing game. It's like Fallout, but set in the medieval times. And it is man it is made by Bethesda, which also uh, made Fallout. And it's running on a new engine, not the game Biro engine like the uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion or Fallout 3 slash Fallout New Vegas, um, which is supposed to be a lot better. The graphics look a lot, lot better. Um, and the people react normally. When you talk to people in uh, the game Biro games, um, <coughs> The rest of the world would pause as you talk to them. In this one, the world's supposed to continue living and breathing as you're talking to them, and there's supposed to be better facial animations, and they don't sit there like, like creepy robots sort of. And there's a lot of stuff like people would react like if you threw money on the ground, they'd go and fight after it and stuff like that, and that looks amazing. That's a must buy for me along with Battlefield 3. Now another game is Rage. This is produced by ID Software, which I, I believe made Doom. I've never played Doom before, but um, I've heard it's a very great game, and I'm going to have to try it eventually. Uh, Rage, I think, is an open-world game. Uh, it's first-person shooter mixed with some vehicle combat, and it it looks fantastic. The graphics are gorgeous. Um, it has a large variety of weapons, and it's really Fallout slash Borderland-ish looking, uh, and I really like that, and I also love vehicle combat when it comes to games, so that's... that's uh, uh, almost a must buy if I have the money I'm gonna get it um, over any other game aside from Battlefield 3 and Skyrim another game coming out is Dead Island which is an open world uh, zombie sort of shooter uh, game but you mainly use melee weapons because uh, weapon uh, guns are in uh, are scarce on the island and uh, it's basically an island that was overrun with zombies. They don't have a lot of information on it. Uh, there's going to be like a lot of crafting and stuff involved and quests. And you can play as different characters. And I believe you can level up and stuff like that. And that'll be really neat. Um, that would be the fourth game I'd buy if I'd buy anything this year. Another game coming out is Uncharted 3. is a PS3 exclusive. Uh, I never played the other Uncharted's. I played the beta a couple uh, matches for Uncharted 3. I thought it was uh, I thought it was pretty cool. It's not really my type of game, but uh, I heard the other Uncharted's are great, and I've, um, I'm pro I'm almost definitely not gonna buy it. I didn't enjoy it a whole lot, but that's just my opinion. I could see why people love it. It looks like a great game, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing reviews on that and gameplay. Though I'm not really gonna buy it. Um, another game coming out also is Gears of War three. I think the last Gears of War game uh, is supposed to be coming out this year um and that 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 looks that looks pretty good I mean I I never really played any of the other gears um but I can see why people like it also uh it seems a bit 12 year old ish like just a bunch of gore and 
chainsaws and stuff that would appeal to a younger audience. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, now, if there's anything more I'm missing, I, I apologize. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the GameSpot homepage and uh, go under the PC section. Um, oh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. I forgot about that. I played Assassin's Creed 2. Love that game. Um, I It got a bit boring after I beat the game. I haven't gone back to play it since, but I did get it for like $15. Um, it, it was really great. I might check out Revelations if I have the money. It looks it looks pretty good. I haven't seen a whole lot of gameplay, maybe like a minute or so, but uh, yeah, that's looking great. And also Batman Arkham City. Uh, I p tried the demo for Batman Arkham Asylum. It was it was pretty fun. Uh, it wasn't the best game I had ever played, but I I did go back and play it a couple times, and I'll have to check out the videos on that and see if it's something I might want to buy. And that's a strong contender for game of the year. Um, and also Diablo 3, uh, I never played the other Diablos, I think it's like a top down uh, sort of fighting game where you control, uh, I have almost no information on that, uh, it's targeted for 2011, it might be released in 2012, I'm not really sure, and there's also The Witcher 2, I saw some gameplay on that, it looked really great, a uh, nice open world RPG game, and uh, that, that looks pretty, that looks pretty cool, it's a PC exclusive, though I think it's more of a console type game because it is third person and RPG-ish, which are normally on consoles. Um, and then there's also Star Wars The Old Republic, that game looks pretty great. Also, uh, I might have to check that out, uh, some videos at least, because unfortunately I think there's going to be a uh, pay to play charge, uh, which sort of stinks, but hopefully it'll uh, not or have somewhat uh, different payment plans like RuneScape or something and I might have to check that out. And then there's also Minecraft which is getting released in the same day as Skyrim 11 11 11. Uh, that, that is great. I think a lot of people know Minecraft. I love that game. I've played hundreds of hours on it. It's amazing and it's gotten a bit boring lately because of the lack of recent uh, big updates but I'm looking forward to the adventure update coming out and late August and I might make some videos about it. Um, I'm hoping to make the Ultimate Guide to Minecraft series. Uh, that would be really nice. Um, and yeah, that's covering the major games coming out this year uh, that I can think of at least. I'm sorry if I'm missing any, but now to Game of the Year. Now, I think the strongest contenders for Game of the Year is going to be somewhere between um, Old Republic, uh, which looks great. You know, MMOs uh, can look great and then end up being crap, but it's made by Bioware, so I don't have low expectations for the game. Uh, Uncharted 3, um, which it, I can see why people like it. I can see why it won Game of the Year. It's just my, not my type of game. Skyrim, which uh, is amazing. I, I'm i really looking forward to that game, as I said. And even Battlefield 3. I mean, the game has so much hype, and it looks, it looks superb. I mean, it's supposed to be, like, really dramatic and heart- heartfelt and stuff and it just looks great I I wouldn't expect that to win uh, game of the year but there are a lot of uh, game of the year awards given out and uh, not not the same game wins every time um, and Batman Arkham City uh, which I don't have much information about now uh, Arkham Asylum is supposed to be an amazing game so is Uncharted 2 and the other Uncharted uh, I think Drake's Fortune or something like that. Um, that that was supposed to be great. 